In the past, I've made videos about the top 10 Colombian foods, the top 10 Colombian desserts, and you can watch those two videos here. Now, this video today has been requested and it is the top 10 Colombian street food snacks. Now, we're talking about the savory kinds and the kinds that you can buy in little stores and from street vendors and so on. Before we get into it, if you are new to this channel, I make regular travel videos. I do restaurant reviews, hotel reviews, Airbnb reviews, interesting foods, attractions, and so on in Colombia and abroad. So if that sounds like something that interests you, please consider hitting subscribe and give this video a like if you do learn something today. It really helps a small channel like mine. Let's get into the top 10 Colombian street food snacks. And be sure to stick around to the end because I have some funny memes and behind the scenes clips coming up. At number 10, we have obleas, which are round and thin wafers that are usually filled with arequipe, which is similar to a caramel sauce. Many Colombians love to mix sweet and salty flavors together, so you will often see these served with a sprinkling of grated cheese as well. They're a popular snack that you'll find in many cities and towns throughout the country. At number nine, we have salchi papas, which translates to fried chips or french fries with sliced sausages, and they're normally served with sauces such as ketchup and mayonnaise, and sometimes with a sprinkling of cheese on top. Now, I didn't say that this would be a healthy list of snacks, but if you only come to Colombia once in your life, you might want to give a few of these snacks on the list a try. Coming in at number eight, we have churros. Although churros originate in Spain and Portugal, they have also become a popular snack here in Colombia and in other Latin American countries. These fried dough snacks can sometimes be filled with a chocolate sauce or arequipe, and they also are made with a sprinkling of sugar and cinnamon. Be sure to give them a try. At number seven, we have the pastel de pollo, which is a Colombian version of a chicken turnover made with shredded chicken and a mix of vegetables and wrapped in a pastry dough. And you guessed it, they are often deep fried or sometimes baked. This is another popular snack found throughout the country. At number six, we have choclo con queso. This is a simple corn on a cob served with a fresh white cheese, which is similar in flavor and texture to ricotta. Corn is a very important ingredient in Colombian cooking, and you'll see many snacks made from a corn base, including arepas served with fresh cheese, which I'll tell you about a little later in the video. At number five, papas rellenas, which translates to stuffed potatoes. These are actually balls of mashed potatoes stuffed with seasoned ground meat, and sometimes other fillings such as cheese before being breaded. And guess what? Deep fried, that's right. They're a simple and filling snack that are crispy on the outside and soft on the inside and loved by Colombians. At number four, we have buñuelos. These fried dough balls made with corn and wheat flours and cheese have a mild flavor and a soft texture and are extremely popular as a Christmas snack served with natija, which is a type of firm custard. Although you can easily find them in bakeries all year round. Heading into the top three, we have the interesting snack, pan de bono. These are cheesy bread rolls made from juca or cassava flour and cheese. Before coming to Colombia, I'd never eaten cassava before, but now it is one of my favorite vegetables as it can be eaten boiled or fried and used in cooking, such as in these delicious pan de bonos. Be sure to give them a try, they're very unique. At number two, a classic snack that you'll find everywhere, empanadas. Colombian empanadas vary from other Latin American versions, as the ones found here are made with a very crispy outer casing of corn and usually stuffed with meat and vegetables, or sometimes with just potatoes, and of course, they're deep fried. Give them a try, but once again, do it in moderation. And finally, at number one, one of the most versatile snacks found throughout the entire country, the classic arepa. There are so many different varieties of this tasty snack found from region to region, from the popular cheese stuffed varieties to the deep fried varieties with eggs and meats, to the open stuffed types with meat and vegetables. These filling snacks are the go-to food for millions of Colombians every single day. When you're in Colombia, be sure to try as many different varieties as you can. And I have a little bonus for you. In cities like Medellin, you'll find this popular snack called Masamora, which is a creamy dessert made from cooked corn, milk, sugar, and cinnamon, and sweetened with a little raw sugar called panela. It's a unique and interesting snack worth giving a try. Now, just for fun, as promised, here are some funny memes. Just before I was about to publish this video, I came across these funny Colombian snack-related memes on Instagram, which I had to share with you. Here we have obleas with arequipe, which are the wafers with arequipe or caramel sauce, and the word yo, which means I or me. So I'm sure you can understand this funny meme. These are obleas and this is me. 
We also have empanadas con ají, which are the empanadas with chili, and pan de bono, which are the cheesy cassava breads, which were all featured early in this video. So that wraps up the top 10 Colombian street snacks. If you learned something new in this video or if you just simply enjoyed it, please give this video a like. It really helps a small channel like mine and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Another downside of filming in Colombia is that it's so noisy all the time. It's motorbikes or dogs barking or something's going on all around. <laughs> just try filming a video in Colombia. Why not follow me on all of my socials? Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok are brought with Ben.